Greetings, artists. Today, we are going to be learning about fogism and creating a room that looks like the fogs created it. Um, Henri Matisse is one of the most famous fogus artists, and we are going to be watching a video about him, and then we are going to be creating a room in his style using rulers and one point perspective and you will then get to use colored pencils and markers to color it. I look forward to seeing what you create. Now these are some examples of Favis work of works of art. If you look there are so many bright colors and different designs and now this is what we are going to create. You will need a 12 by 18 piece of paper, a ruler, and a pencil. So I am going to start by creating the area that I want to be the window. I'm gonna create a two inch border around my whole paper by measuring at two inches on the tops, the sides, and the bottom. This it's really important that you get it even. So on the long side of your paper, you're probably going to want to make two marks so you can use your ruler to make a straight line because nobody wants to look out a crooked window. So then you can see me here using the pencil to make my line across. I apologize that the lines are a little light. I wanted to be able to erase the lines, but I didn't quite think that um, they would be really light to see. So you can see here, I'm just drawing a two inch frame around the piece of paper and erasing any extra lines that I may have made. Now I am going to find the center of my paper, which is called the vanishing point. And this is the point where all the lines that I make are going to converge or come together. So it is really, 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 really important that I actually find the center. It is at um, six inches up and nine inches over. And so here I am finding the vanishing point and erasing all the lines that are unnecessary in my picture. Now that I have my vanishing point, I'm going to use my ruler to draw the horizon line. The horizon line is a fancy name for the line that divides the sky from the ground. This will only be done on the part of your window that shows the outside. So just inside the frame. Now I am taking my ruler to draw some lines from the corner to the um, about two inches on the inside. This is creating a shutter to make my project look like it has some drapes or a shutter or a window or something to have it look as though you are looking out through the window. So all I did was take the corner and draw a line to the vanishing point and then I use the ruler to make a straight line down and it creates what looks like a frame. Then anything that I do to the left side, I need to do to the right side to keep it symmetrical. So here I am doing the exact same thing on the right side, keeping it symmetrical, going from the corner to the vanishing point and then creating a line to make it go up and down. As you can see on this, I am going to frame it and make shutters. You could look at some of the examples that I have shown and create um, curtains just kind of by coloring it in and making some lines on it because often um, windows also have curtains. 
now that I have the shutters drawn, I am going to draw a frame on the inside. So I am just drawing about one inch in, and then I'm making a line that is eight inches long and making little marks at each of the eight inches on each side. This will allow me to have the lines of the shutters all be straight and able to go to the vanishing point properly. So I'm drawing down and then just drawing a little tiny line that I will be able to see each inch, one through eight. Now that I have my lines, I'm gonna go from the line to the vanishing point, and this will make it look as though it is in the proper perspective. What we are doing is we are creating what's called a one point perspective, which means that everything goes to one point. So all the lines that you draw are going to radiate out pretty much from the center point in the middle of your paper. You can see here how I am then using the ruler to draw straight lines and it creates what looks to be a perfect shutter. Now that I have created both shutters, I am going to create a windowsill by drawing a line out from the shutter. And then I am going to curve the line like a C to create a windowsill and draw a vertical line that goes across to create the windowsill. You can see that is what I'm drawing here and once I get done drawing this, I am going to create the border around the top of the window, like the window framing that is on most windows you find in your house. So the wood molding that goes above it. I'm also creating the wood molding that is um, in most windows in homes. Sometimes it's made out of marble if you have fancy windows. I think the ones here at school have marble. My windows at home have wood. Um, it's just a hard surface that you can rest things on. So now that I have created the window sill on the bottom, which is where you um, rest things, I'm going to create the molding on the top here. This is probably as far as you are gonna get on the first day, so make sure to put your name on your paper and we will start from here next class. So now that you have your picture all done, we are going to create some perspective to our drawing. So the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to add different objects in the windowsill. So I'm gonna draw a cactus in this windowsill and I am gonna draw curtains on one side. You can add whatever within reason that is school appropriate to your windowsill. I strongly recommend a plant or flowers because they often sit on windowsills and they are pretty easy to draw. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a road. 
I did this by drawing a triangle and making a dotted line that went through the center from my vanishing point. Then, once I have my road, I am going to draw a smaller rectangle that is below the vanishing point. Then, I'm going to draw a triangle on top. This creates a really clean version of the kind of baby-like house that you probably have drawn a zillion times. Then, I'm taking the lines back to the um, vanishing point and I'm taking that line back to the vanishing point and this creates what looks to be a well-formed house. That line is a little strange and I realize that it probably just needs to be free-handed to make it look like a house and there I got it wrong and there I got it right here where I am thinking about it so I apologize about this and then it goes to the vanishing point then I will need to add different things to my um to my uh, house to make it look like a home. So here I am. I finally figured it out. So I want to add like windows and doors and all the things that you would think to put on a home. So the next part of this video, I am drawing a second building. I am making it go above the horizon line. So there's only one line that goes to the vanishing point. All horizontal lines need to be drawn to the vanishing point so that they can have the proper perspective. Here I am drawing two vertical lines and then a horizontal line that goes across taking them to the vanishing point to create a window on the side. I'm going to create two windows here and then draw some more windows on the large building that I created. You can create all kinds of different things. This drawing is a bit basic. You could make tiles on your roof. I love how I'm making um, curtains on my windows. I made a little address sign just different things that you can think of when you think of a house. Just add all the different details that you would like to have in your house. Now that I'm wrapping up creating all the details on the right side of my paper, I can either make a more natural landscape on the left side of my paper. Here you see me drawing trees. They go from bigger to smaller the further I go back. Or you could draw a second part of the city. It is your paper and you can draw whatever you want. Um, I look forward to